G'day guys, how you doing? And uh, it's another beautiful night here in SA and uh, I'm going to be doing some uh, astro imaging but this time I'm going to be adding some more data to the running chicken nebula. Um, doesn't matter how many times I say it, I do get a bit of a laugh out of it, the running chicken. I love it. Um, yeah, so my uh, my twins are, uh, are ready to go and add uh, even more data um, to it than the last shot. And uh, the guide camera I've got, the QHY, is, uh, is doing a fantastic job. Now, the reason I did get the QHY um, uh, guider and replaced that with my old ZWO um, Mini, it was the fact that I can't use three ZWA cameras. Um, the native drivers and everything else just wouldn't allow for it. So now I've got my two um, ZWA main cameras running with the QHY as the guide camera, and it works uh, completely fine. Well, actually, it works great. Uh, no issues whatsoever. It is an 8 megapixel um, guide camera color, and uh, it is, I'd say, it's a little bit overkill for a guide camera. But the reason I got it is because I figured later on down the track, I might want to use it for something else, maybe some planetary imaging or for a bit of a laugh one night, maybe place it on the front of one of these rasses and, and see what we get. Um, yeah, so another uh, another beautiful night here. And uh, I'm just going to have to wait for it to get a little bit darker and we can get things uh, underway imaging the running chicken nebula. All right, so we're all up and running. Uh, it took me a little bit longer because I wanted to change the uh, the way the file names are saved as well as the locations because I've got a uh, little USB stick um, attached to one of the USB ports on the Eagle uh, Eagle Pro, or sorry, Eagle 4. Um, so that way the saved images are saved straight to the, uh, the USB stick and then I can um, take the USB stick out and plug it straight into the computer or whatever to do the processing. Um, I'm just waiting for the uh, cameras to cool down to minus 10, but they're uh, pretty much all ready to go. The focus is good. Um, I've now set the focus to um, to refocus every about 50 frames. Um, and at 30 seconds exposures, that's not going to be, uh, be a lot of time before they um, uh, need to uh, refocus. So we'll try that out tonight as well. Um, I'm also going to be capturing, uh, I've put in to capture 200 frames each, so 400 frames total. Um, and I want to try out the Meridian Flip because I haven't tried that out yet. So I'd like to see how that uh, performs. Uh, gains are all set at the, uh, the last imaging session, so 121. Um, and yeah, really looking forward to it. It is a little bit windy, but the CGXL, um, I find can handle a bit of uh, a bit of gusts even with the two uh, twin rasses on so, um, it's not too bad so uh, but we'll, we'll see we'll see how it goes and uh, and yeah another beautiful night astro imaging um, what more can I say <laughs> so uh, we'll get on with the imaging session and uh, come back a bit later well guys tonight's imaging session has been a bit of a challenging one um, we had uh, some pretty high winds there throughout um, part of the night and that uh, definitely interrupted my guiding which then interrupted the imaging session um, so I was losing the star a bit uh, and then had noticed that over time the image had drifted because there was no real guiding going on and it wasn't fully polar aligned so um, I was sort of relying a little bit more on the guiding uh, to keep everything sort of going. Um, so yeah, there's a bit of a, a uh, what's the best word I could say for that? Um, I tried to pass a few steps uh, and getting everything up and going. Um, the, so, so the amount of images I've captured tonight has been uh, bugger all. <laughs> um, the Nina software also hung there as well um, for some strange reason. I think it might have something to do with the guiding side of things um, for that reason. Uh, I'm not too sure, but when I started things back up again, um, everything seemed to uh, go fine. Um, not too sure what the issue was with that, but I did waste uh, about an hour or so of uh, imaging there. It's a good thing I uh, checked up on it. 
Um, the other thing too is the battery. Battery pack is uh, about to die. Um, and I haven't had the chance to even do a Meridian flip yet and see how that works. So, uh, yeah, the, the beeping is what you can hear with the low, low battery um, voltage. Um, the other thing too was the, uh, I had Nina set up to, um, auto focus or check the, check the focus or auto focus after a hundred frames. And that didn't happen either. So I'm not too sure why that didn't happen. Um, we'll have to, uh, investigate that a little bit more. But, uh, other than that, you know, you, you don't always get the, uh, best nights uh, imaging sometimes um there are little teething things here and there but uh overall i'm very happy with uh with the direction everything's uh, everything's going in and um the moon is starting to uh rise again so we're getting that uh it's getting close to 25 percent uh, moon but it is is uh dipping away fairly early in the night I don't know how many more clear nights I'm going to have this month to do some um, more imaging with this setup because the Milky Way is uh, pretty much rising now. I can see uh, Antares rising just up over there and uh, like in my other video, it's, uh, it's where I'll be planning this mosaic project of mine it's a very colorful area but I'm not really photographing that part that everyone photographs if that makes sense to you guys it's a different area planned in a mosaic planned in a panoramic um with about 14 panels i think it is so uh pretty excited about that one Anyway, uh, rambling on a bit, so I'm going to call it a night here. Uh, if you've enjoyed this uh, video, please give me a big thumbs up. Uh, got any questions or want to leave a comment, just let me know in the uh, comment section below. And if you're new to this channel and this is the first video you've seen, please check out some other videos. And if you uh, enjoy it and you'd like to support my channel, then uh, give me a subscribe. All right, guys. Well, on that note, until next time, take it easy. See you soon.